Hello everyone, welcome back to Project 6014 Oko Masters. Um, last time we uh, we came here and we uh, we we, uh, we started the game. We uh, met a Shamur for the first time, um, and now we're at Procyon, the second planet of the Procyon system, the Shamur home base, uh, home base, the Shamur home planet. Uh, today we're going to start by talking to the uh, Starbase commander. So let's go. Okay, so we're presented with the. Starbase screen, you remember this? Oh my god, we talked to Commander Hayes a lot at the Earth Starbase. Gotta go and visit that, definitely, see if he's still there. But look, we got the planet in the background, it looks awesome. We got the, some crystals around the Starbase, awesome. Welcome back, Captain. We trust the test drive went satisfactorily. Our facilities are at your disposal. Okay, hello, Commander Shamur man. Um, how you doing? Uh, so have they located the origin of the signal yet from the Shafixi? We have been interviewing our society's individuals in order to gather a database of estimates of the origin. With all these estimates, we have computed an area the signal came from with certainty. We will send the data to your systems. Now, you will see the area on your star map. This is the best we can do with the current data. But the area is still too large for you to search efficiently. We suggest you ask the show Pixie for more information on their scout patrol movements. Okay. Uh, this starship is like, it's not laid. Look how cool it looks. Looks amazing. Looks like a, a more epic avatar. A more epic Shamar, like a massive one. Uh, we already talked about the Urquan, the Kora. And apparently, we haven't actually tried to land on Shimmer Prime yet, so let's just say we're on our way. Let's get going. Hey, hey, you, uh, you made your crew you star base. Okay, so, it looks like we can uh, start editing stuff, or can we edit stuff? It doesn't look very editable. It doesn't look like the old precursor ship where we could pretty much change everything, but let's just see what we can do. Okay. We can get some new landers, we can get fuel. Okay, well of course this is actually just a... It's just a sort of... Uh, well, that's the name of the ship. It's Discovery. It's an explorer. It discovers a new place that needs a lot of fuel. So I guess that's pretty much what the, the whole ship is pretty much based on, is fuel and uh, research material, research um, technology. We've got some landers though, so we can go land on planets. We'll get another one of those. Um, we don't really need anything else other than a couple of landers. Uh, shipyard, of course, we can get some battleships ourselves, so we don't need to use the, uh, the Discovery as our battleship. We, we can make a fleet, we can carry six ships around with us, which is pretty good. Never really need more than six, never really need more than, like, four, really. Uh, but we can get, uh, some good ships here. Now, I probably want a Yay Hat, because I remember the Yay Hat being really good. Because they have a shield, and they have really good powerful weapons. So let's, uh, let's fuel that up, and we might as well, since we're, since we're playing Project 614, let's get a Shimo Avatar. Because they're the, pretty much the best ship in the game. They're amazing. They can take down Korra and Urquan really well. And it just has a ton of crew. And it's just an amazing ship. So we'll have a Yehat Terminator. And a... Uh, the Shamur Avatar. And I think the Discovery does have weapons. Because... Um, because it has... I've seen the front of it. If you look at the title screen. It does have like a weapon. You can see there it has a sort of like blaster at the front. So I'm guessing that's a weapon. Don't know if it's going to be any powerful, uh, powerful at all, but um, it's a weapon, it's still a weapon. So maybe it's like a more defensive fleeing ship, like to sort of maneuver away from enemies. Um, but let's see if we can learn. Let's, let's see if we can land on uh, on Procyon, uh, Shamur Prime. Uh, looks like it's got a lot of lovely. Oh no, we can't land there. That's a shame. It's got some really nice resources down there. Really good if we could go and get those, but unfortunately not. Today is not the day. But maybe we can ask him why now. Maybe we can ask why we can't land there. Greetings, Shuba. Welcome back to Procyon. Our facilities are at your disposal. Have you located the Shafixi crash sites? Uh, not really. <laughs> where is it again? Oh yeah, he put it on the start. Well, let's just ask where it is, because he might give us some more data. You never know. You never know. We have given you the best estimates on the location of the distressed sites. We suggest you refer to the coordinates on your star map and search the area for thoroughly friends. Okay, uh, can we just ask about the Shimmer Prime thing now? You may... Okay, why can't we learn there? Why can't we ex uh, acquire a stable orbit? Why can't we do that? Is there a reason? Alliance Central Command wishes not to publicly advertise the commission 
of this wrath or its mission to the general populace. Subsequently, the navigation module of your ship has been instructed not to approach highly populated Alliance planets. So I can't talk with any of the Alliance homeworlds at all? What is that? Preferably, communication should be done with Alliance representatives at their respective star bases. Fair enough, we could do that, but uh... But I want to see the Tuzakzon! Why can't I see them? I want to see them! Why can't we see them? Captain, it would take your lander 724 months to reach the surface from the orbit you are allowed to acquire. Your lander is not suited to carry provisions for such a length of time. However, we may transmit pictures of the magnificent Tazarak song to you in high resolution. Oh, that is awesome. Well, I guess we'll be on our way then with that knowledge. Okay. Oh my god, I really want to see the Tuzaxon. One day, I will see them. But, uh, at least we know we can see them at some point, so I'm happy with that. And I'm going to leave with that, with that knowledge, that I will someday see the Tuzaxon. I could just go down another ship. I mean, I could just go down an avatar or something. Why can't I just do that? I don't have to be in this ship, do I? Whatever. But anyway, you can see that we've uh, got quite a lot of um, the Alliance uh, fleets around here. We've got the crash site around there. We got uh, Earthlings, Shafix, the Yehat, Vux, or Cyrene Spathy. I didn't know that Vux, I, I think the Vux are slave shield, but they still seem to have a area of influence. Uh, however, the crash site sphere is quite large. Or maybe it's just that ring. Okay, that ring is the crash site, but that's still huge. There's so many, there's so many things in there. It does actually pass through Shafix, the space. Imagine if it was just there, that'd be terrible, wouldn't it? If it was just there the entire time, they just just crashed on a nearby planet, and uh, just no one saw it. It was just on the dark side of a, of a, of a planet. But I, I'm pretty sure that wouldn't happen. But I really want to go see Vela. I really want to go see Vela. Or maybe we should go to Earth first. Maybe that'd be good. Maybe we go to Earth, and then make a sort of fork around and come back to Procyon. That'd be good. We've got a lot of fuel, so we shouldn't run out of fuel. Maybe we will. We are going quite far here, going to look at all the different races. But um, I want to go and see how the Yeha are doing with the Pekunk. I want to see how the Shafixti are doing on there. They should have a new home planet, because otherwise... Because Delta Gorno was destroyed. Their home planet there was destroyed, so they must have a new home planet. Should we go and find out where that is? Commander Hayes, let's see if he's still there. And uh, we haven't even seen Earth in the game yet, non-slave shielded, so that'd be interesting. Um, the Cyrene, I swear... Oh yeah, the Sirena is still at Beetlejuice, but, but they won't be Slave Shield anymore, so we can get to see that for the first time. Um, so there's a lot of new things. Oh my god, look, here we go. Earth. Earthlings are actually flying around for the first time. They're actually flying around their solar system. Oh my god, look at them all. Oh, they're coming for me. Okay, let's talk to one. Let's see how they're doing. Greetings. This is Captain Pike, the Star Cruiser Vanguard. How can we be of assistance? Hello, Captain Pike. How you doing? Uh, any any news from uh, from Seoul? Any news for us? Not much. Mainly patrolling the quadrant and escorting trade ships in case some core R show up. Personally, I wish the Alliance allocated more tasks for our fleet. The long range of our missiles would complement the devastating capabilities of Avatar ships nicely. Yeah, that is true, actually. I mean. Uh... Avatar and, uh, and Earthling Cruisers could uh, could work pretty well together. Um, those two top things probably aren't a good question to ask. So let's just say goodbye. See you later, man. Till next time. Goodbye, Captain Pike. It's good knowing you. What a great lad. Right, so he's doing his job. So is everyone else. They're just sort of roaming around, having a good time. Um, here we are, back at back at back at the Earth. Oh my God, the starbase is still there. The Earth now has doesn't have a sh slave shield anymore after the Shamur got rid of it. And uh, we can now finally have a look at what minerals were on the Earth. Bit of uh, standard, common stuff, biologicals of course. Bit of radioactive stuff near Chile and uh, Argentina. Um, but there we are. And of course the moon. I wonder if there's anything on the moon still. Is there anything, anything of interest on the moon yet? Have, uh, have humans colonised the Earth in these last five years? Nope. But there's still uh, minerals on there. Which is a bit strange because I thought we would have um, harvested them since last time. Like back in normal star control. Unless I just assume you didn't actually loot the moon. However, there are very little minerals. I'm getting very small amounts here. Cal like one, like one aluminium, one calcium, one iron. 
Okay, that's not brilliant then, is it? There's not really much there. That's fine. Uh, you know, something's better than nothing, you know. But it doesn't need to do anything else here. Um, so yeah, there was the moon. Um, okay, I think it's time that we head to the starbase now, because uh, of course we can't land on the Earth. So let's go to the starbase, see if Commander Hayes is still there.